Hey guys, happy Monday. So today I'm going to be doing a quick and easy hair tutorial, which is the theme of this week. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do this hairstyle. As you can see, it just consists of a side French braid leading into a tiny messy bun that pops out right behind your ear. And it's so cute. And this is something that I love to do. It's really quick and easy, especially for those days where you wake up and your hair is just all over the place and you're like, what am I going to do? It's not cooperating with me at all. Um, but yeah, this is really easy. I can do this within two to three minutes when I'm not filming, obviously. Um, but I hope that I explained this tutorial very thoroughly. So if you guys want to learn how to create this hairstyle, go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like um, second day. I took a shower yesterday, kind of mid-afternoon. So it's been about a day going into the second day. I think that's how it works out, right? Second day hair, the day after, I don't know. I don't know what the qualifications are of meaning that your hair is second day hair, but okay, so yeah, so this is basically what my hair looks like after I've slept on it and everything. And so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a pretty far side part using just like any old rat tail comb. This is good because it can be used for teasing as well if you feel the need to tease your hair. So I'm going to use the comb side or you can use the point side, but whatever, I'm just going to use the comb side to create a pretty far part down the side. And once I have that just in the front, it doesn't really matter if you take it down the back, but I'm just going to leave it right here. I'm going to kind of comb my hair to the side that I want it to go. And typically I like my hair to go to the left, but if you want your hair to go to the right, it really doesn't matter. Okay, and the next step is to basically side French braid your hair. You're going to start taking pieces. Take this top section, this top layer of hair. Divide it into three, and then start French braiding as usual. And make sure you pull the hair to the left side because that's the way that you want it to go. Make sure it's tight or loose, depends on how you want the look. If you want it to be kind of like loose and messy, then don't braid as tightly. But for me, since I have a whole bunch of layers in my hair, I have to braid the top section really tight, otherwise my hair is going to be falling out everywhere. So I'm on my like second or third stitch. I'm not crocheting, I don't know why I'm calling it a stitch, but whatever. I'm going to very slowly and slightly and discreetly start taking pieces from the back. If you start this too early, the pieces, like, you won't have a part. It will end up, like, looking like that. It will end up looking kind of messy. Again, taking a section from the front. And a good way to kind of tell like how much hair you should be pulling from the other side, wherever you're at in the front, like taking hair, like kind of like go around your entire head and just make sure that you're like at around the same area, same point. Okay, so now that I have all of my hair in the braid, I'm just going to continue this braid all the way down. And look at all my nice pretty layers popping out. Oh, how lovely. Okay, and this is basically as far as I can go. That's really sad. I wish I could go a little bit farther, but it won't allow me to go any farther because my layers are going to pop out. So now just taking any little rubber band or hair tie. I just like these because they're not so thick and noticeable. 
go ahead and secure off that braid. So now you should have a side braid. Like the most important thing, I know this looks really messy, the most important thing is that you have the side braid and the hair coming to the side. So now, um, if you have all one length hair and your braid went all the way down to the tip of the end, that is perfect. Like that's kind of really what you want. But now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to take the ends and wrap it around your finger towards you, like wrap it towards your face. And now just keep on rolling. And just roll it into a little messy bun and then place it where you want. I like it on the side so it kind of like sticks out like behind my ear and it looks really cute. And now is the time where you're going to take some bobby pins and basically just pin the crap out of it. Like, Just make sure that your ends are kind of like tucked, tucked in and hidden. And make sure that this isn't going to fall out. Okay, and once you're done pinning all your hair into place and you feel like it's pretty secure, you feel like it's not going to fall out on you, this is what you should have. You should have a really nice French braid coming down to the side and then a little bun on the bottom of your ear popping out like this. And it looks so cute and girly. And what I love about this is that it's really easy to do fast. This is something that I really love to wear because it's so chic and really cute and it really makes any outfit. Like even though your hair may be like second day hair, a little greasy, and you're doing this look because you can't do anything else with your hair, it still looks really cute and cool. So, and, I, and as you can see, it was really easy. So again, I hope that you guys like this and I'll see you guys next Monday. Bye!